Hey everyone, this is MC Barber here. I have uh, a nice haircut for you. It is a Brad, Brad Pitt's haircut from the movie Fury. Fury. Uh, it is undercut, but we are going to do here an uh, actual fade instead of cutting everything up to the line. So now I'm using one and a half, creating the square shape for my haircut, the foundation and also foundation for my fading since I find it very e easy or much easier uh, to fade from zero to one and a half than changing the guards from four, three, two, one, half, zero. So as you see first I section the top off by using one and a half I'm removing most of the weight And then, uh, as you can see now, I have a square shape. Now I'm going to start my fade from zero in that area. I'm using six zeros here, actually five zeros here. I'm not, I'm not going to go too high. There it is. So my first step was one and a half. My second step is uh, five zeros. Now I'm going to do uh, fading from the top down. And here I have uh, one eighth of an inch and my blade is open. And I'm going to work on that line, removing the line that I just created there. This system of fading is actually called fading from top down. Since I'm use, I used one and a half, now I'm using one. And then half, then half uh, blade opened and, you know, working my way down to until I remove the line. One benefit of fading down is that your line actually stay where it is. Your fade stay where it is, it doesn't go high. So now I'm using 1 16 of an inch and still working on that line that I created. As you can see, the line is slowly disappearing. Here I'm opening and closing my lever as needed, opening and closing my uh, blade. When your blade is open and you have no guards, that gives you about, uh, I, I would say close to probably like 1 16 of an inch. So still using 1 16 of an inch here on my uh, clipper, uh, working on my fade. Now my blade is fully closed. Now I'm going to remove, remove my blade and my guard 
one sixteen of an inch, and I'm gonna open my blade. It's still about same as one sixteen, but here as you open and close your blade, you find kind of the right length where you want to be, and keep on working on that line as it as it's disappearing. So one thing I like to say here is a lot of times we say where do we really want to create the section for undercut. What I like to do, I like to start it from the corner of recession where the, the, you know, your hairline is receding from that corner. But that then determines whether you cut all the way to the line or you have it like the way I have it right now. You don't, bl uh, you don't fade all the way to the line. Depends on the shape of the head. So if the head is shaped, if if the head gets wider towards the top and it's very square, then you can fade all the way to the line. If the head slightly round and it's slightly wider uh, on the sides, then you cannot really fade all the way to the top as it would create the, the oval shape or it depends how wide the head is it would create it very round so it would not really look very nice we want to create kind of square shapes for men's hairstyles so here what we are, what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, blending with a straight edge razor this is a sculpting technique I am removing the weight and link and I'm blending to the fade. So as you can see here, I move my whole arm so I can create an even cut. I lift the hair with a comb and then I go through with the razor. Now for the top I'm cutting I'm starting from the crown taking four of an inch sections. Uh, bringing everything straight up at 90 degrees. I want to make sure that the, the side, the center and the sides, everything comes straight up at 90 degrees so everything is nice and even. I'm actually starting to over direct slight, slightly so my front will stay longer than the back. So slightly as you come to the center halfway right above the ears you start over directing so the front stays longer. Here I'm really not cutting, cutting hardly anything. Here I'm demonstrating how to properly uh, execute the scissor over knuckles by placing my stationary blade on my finger, uh, slightly elevating, it, elevating the blade about 15 degrees away from my knuckle 
and then cutting without worrying with cutting my knuckles as you can see here. And there it is, that's your final look. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please don't forget to subscribe. mcbarber.com is my website.